a rift hey. in the time-space continuum. <laughs> is it a wormhole or just a new brand oh, of guitar amplifier that we've started stocking? I think that might be a wormhole. Well, there we go. So, I don't really quite know what that link was there, but yes, um, a combination of things. A combination of things around looking for products that are made in the UK rather than yeah. having to import everything from lands far yonder. Yeah. And also visiting our friend Adrian Thorpe on his little um, sort of you know, industrial little... unit farmhouse thing where artisan craftsmen make glorious things. Yeah, sofas and there's a dog groomers there. And there's, there's everything. It's, there. It's, 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 and, it's a uh, strange little place. Yes, whilst uh, Pete was getting his hair cut in the dog groomers, I decided to go next door. Not this hair though. And uh, <laughs> go and see a man, uh, literally a man, um, on his own. Yeah. Making, hand making, beautiful yeah. amps that Adrian Thorpe had said you should go and see Chris. Yeah, you know he he makes these cool little amplifiers called Rift. He had one in uh, Ethan Scott one in the in the testing facility in his in his, in his place, testing you know, facility. When I was tr uh, working on the Dane with him. Yes. And he said you have to try that amp, and I was like, wow, it's really good. So, really, really good. So so off we trot. Like yeah. you know, twenty yards over to the other side of the the uh, to the other side, like the paddock. Or whatever it is that they've yeah, got yeah. up there, yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we barge in, and um, uh, and this very very nice chap called Chris um, says, "Yeah, I make these amps." And historically, or previously, they'd only been available if you spoke directly to Chris, and you yeah. sort of said, "You know, could you make me one of those, please?" Yeah. And he had a sort of a catalogue of a small catalogue of amplifiers with lots of different options that you could have on them. Yeah. And then he would make you one, and yeah. and then he, and then we we were like, "Oh, it's nice to meet you." And, Good luck and yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. And the next thing we know, zoom in on this what appears here. Yeah. He drives down to Anderton's, and basically, I think this is even illegal. This is basically bribery, <laughs> is uh, what this is. He goes, "I've made you an amp, Lee." Uh, yeah, cause, because you were playing in your office, and he was seeing. He saw you were using a little thing. It's like you can have a real well, nice I amp. Yeah. In your office. I'll come instead back of to this. why I think this is just the best little amplifier that I own. Um, 
I say own, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no money changed hands. I just got bribed. Uh, but, uh, but I would own one of these. Um, and then, I mean, as if, you know, in an f- absolute blatant uh, transgression of probably all the laws under the sun about what you have to do to get your products into a retailer, he goes and makes one for Pete as well. Yes. Which is it's like we, a, a big bad brother of this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So that's six watts. Uh, PR6. This is a PR35. Because we talked about having one for, for in here as well, because I thought mm. it would be really cool to have something. But it needs the headroom. Uh, and six yeah. watts and a 10-inch speaker yeah. doesn't really cut it. Yeah. Well, so <coughs> fast forward, that was probably three or four months ago. And uh, Anderton's uh, is now a, a Rift dealer. We're very yes. honoured. We are yeah. uh, the only Rift guitar amp dealer in the world at the moment. Whoa. Um, well, we need to change that because these are great. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we want more dealers, do we? We just Not want everyone go, to buy one. In, in America, yeah. yeah you know. <laughs> um, so let's talk about Rift. Now, uh, we're going to invite Chris down for like a meet the maker Yes. kind of video where we yeah. can get a bit more technical about why these amplifiers are glorious and why he's uh, how he started making amps and everything like that. But fundamentally, within the Rift range, he makes a series of amplifiers that are inspired by uh, the wonderful amps of yesteryear. Yeah. Kind of like everybody does, to be honest. You, he puts his own spin and flavor and tweaks on them. But you've yeah. got a, a series of uh, Fender Brown traditional face, brown yeah. face kind of or black face but yeah. these are brown face mainly even though that's black the, face yeah but so this is brown you face. can you can also get any combination of yeah. colors tolex yeah f- you know anything you want anything you want you can get anything you want but so pr being again like a brown face so he described brown face to me as sort of post tweed but pre black face so it's this sort of over like a 10 or 15 year period where fender tried to keep going louder and cleaner, louder and cleaner, louder and cleaner. Yes. And sort of blackface was the the ultimate sort of, you know, fairly heavily scooped mid, bright, yeah. bassy, loud, clean. Yeah. Tweed was like original, darker, yeah, more cranked, yeah. uh, m- much more mid-range. Yeah. And brownface is in between. It's yeah. like on the journey. Yeah. So that's what these are based on. Yeah. And we'll talk about the PR6 and the PR5. We have... 35. 35, sorry. sorry. A Vibro, uh, 35 Vibro, Vibro 35 or something, which is, again, yeah, it's a two-channel... Brown face. I'm not one, even sure we can the say the word Vibro Lux, or at least not oh, in a video that's not about Fender stuff. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's 210, 35 watt, two-channel. Donkey jaw, isn't it? That's a Vibro slap, isn't it? That's what it is. Brrr. One of those. Uh, you call it. We have a Hawker, which is... Uh, no, this one here, that's the Hawker. Sorry, yeah. you're totally right. But I didn't mean a Hawker, we'll, I meant a Plexi. A, yeah, Plexi. Which is, which is, as you can probably tell, and we'll put these up in the middle in a minute, this is a bit more Marshally inspired. Yeah. And the Hawker, which is his own thing. Yeah, because he started to do his own just, range It's inspired well. by him. Yeah. Uh, well, only sort of a Selma uh, Vox that is not... Um, Fendery or yeah. well, it's it's or it's Katie, KT sixty six is in the power section. Yeah. Got a kind of like a Selma Watkins sort of still a British vibe, but yeah. but much less of a anyway anyway. So but let's talk about let's talk about the amp. So tell me about your 30, MP. Well, so thirty it's so just fab. Yeah, so yeah, so mine is glorious. Um, it's got a different speaker in it. Uh, yes, these have got the warehouse speaker. He he uses warehouse GWS speakers. guitar speaker warehouse. That's GSW. Yeah. Which is really, really cool. But when, when he asked me about this amp, um, I know the Creamback speakers really well. And there's a Creamback M in here, so the, the medium magnet. Because I, I know what it sounds like when it records. I know what it sounds like when the pedals goes into it from using the Victory amps, which also got the Creamback in them. And I put a Creamback in a Fender Hardwood Deluxe. And you like that too. And I like that too. So that, there's something about those that I like. Well, that, um, that's okay. Yeah. So, and then, uh, it's 35 watts, so when you look at these two, they might look the same height here, but the boxes underneath mm. are actually... So this this one... My, my one's a little smaller than Pete's. Sl- yes, but mine is like this it's much bigger. not that bigger. much smaller. It's that much bigger. Oh, and the cabinet, it's a, couple of, it's a couple of inches. Yeah, no, 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 no. Couple, definitely, the cabinet, definitely mm, that much. Yeah, so tremolo, uh, reverb, tre- treble and bass. That's, Beautiful. That's it. Single channel. Play chords, yeah. play good chords. So chords. Uh, let me take some stuff off here so there's no yeah. effects, just the reverb, which comes with a little cool pedal. Ooh. Oh. So, 
um, chords. So the, the, something that I was, wanted to tell you about was the treble, because it works a bit differently from uh, what I can understand a normal treble does. So, see what I mean? It's almost like a tone. And the bass is just the bass, so it kind yeah. of adds... Um, it's almost like a cut, top like a, cut like a regular. Well, it's almost like a, just an overall tone control. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's a bit different on the brown face circuit. And the cool thing about this is now the reverb all the way up. I'm, I'm sitting close, but You missed the bar. So there's loads of reverb and it's glorious. There's a massive long tank in the back. There's a, there. a lot of use of the word glorious in this video, which yeah. means it must be Nam soon and we're <laughs> going to be seeing Greg Cock. That's all I can yeah, think. The glorious um, Cock. So I, I, you know, it's this basically got what I, what I like in the amps, you know. Uh, tremolo is also glorious. glorious. Uh, with a speed and a depth. This, it is like a. It's an old Fender. Well known amp, it's an old, but it just it's like sound, an old Fender. But it just sounds but if you, lovely. Yeah, it's hand wired, <laughs> yeah. made in the UK, yeah. kind of, you know, with all the good components and all the expensive uh, speakers yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. But because it's made in the UK, if you live in the UK, it's a lot less than some similarly famous boutique builders from America. Yeah. Where, you know, if you import one over to the UK, you're paying shipping and import duty and bloody, 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 blah. And 20%, so, thank you very much, Mr. Trump. On top. Well, who knows, anything. mate? But, I know. don't know, but no. whatever. Yeah. It is. So anyway, but it, I just think it sounds great, and the the yeah. tremolo and everything. You know, I'm not I'm not, mm. I'm not an amp builder, but if you go on the website and mm. you see or follow his Instagram account as well, you see when he sits and solders it all. Oh on. yeah, it's all and it's hand -wired. all hand wired and. You don't have to have this in purple, no. you can have it in a normal colour, you yeah. know, it's very popular in brown or black or cream or whatever, it can have yeah. different uh, fronts on it, but obviously with Pete, please, if you own <laughs> anything purple, take a picture of it, put it on Instagram and tag Pete Hoy. Because he loves it, he loves seeing himself tagged in anything, anything purple. purple. <laughs> Even shoes, somebody tagged in shoes. So, that's the 35, yeah. uh, there is one in between, this is a PR6, and there is one in between An with 18. A PR18. Yeah. Now, the story behind the six is, um, in my office, which I am fortunate to have a top floor office in Anderton's, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I like to play a bit of guitar from time to time. And I had, a, a, quite a long time ago, I first started using a Blues Junior, mm -hmm. a Fender Blues Junior. And my problem with the Fender Blues Junior was it just went, no volume at all, too much volume, yeah. for the office. Yeah. Anybody out there who owns a Fender Blues Junior or a Hot Rod Deluxe or anything will know what I mean from like nothing to something is like this much on the volume yeah. control, isn't Hot it? Hot Rod Deluxe is the same as so I gave, So I kind of gave up with that. And for a, a two or three years, I had a, a Yamaha THR10, yep. and then which I changed to a Vox Adio GT. And I kind of thought in my head that for that, level of volume, very low volume, yeah. I'd found the perfect thing. Yeah. And, and valves weren't going to be for me for that yeah, size. Yeah. Yeah. And then that naughty man, Chris at Rift Amplifiers <laughs> gave me this thing and it's just unbelievable. It, it's, it's got this crazy big sound. Big 
yeah, big, it's, big sound. It's one of those where you play it and you just keep playing and oh, I you know. forget time goes it's, by. It's fabulously clean. Yeah. It's insanely usable at this kind of volume. Yeah. You know, in my office, whatever like that. It's got this same reverb, basically. I don't know if it's exactly the same I tank or whatever. It, it probably is. Yeah. So again, if you if you like excessive amounts of reverb, it's... And, and as Pete said as well, oh, wrong button there, tremolo as well, you know. So I just, um, it is, it's great. It's That's really, a really great. speaker as well in there. No, right? I think this is the 12. Oh, is it? Yeah, so the okay. PR6 can come with a 10 or a 12. Okay. This is a 12. Uh, it's got um, volume, treble, bass. I don't, it's, actually, it's all the same. Do you know, I don't know if the treble works quite the same as yours. Let's have a listen. Similar. It's yeah, I guess it thing. is. So, um, it, and a cool thing about these amps is this. Check this out, right? Uh-oh. It's not too loud. Oh gosh, here we go. Responsive, yeah. even if it's on full yeah, yeah, ten, yeah. it would probably most people wouldn't run it on ten. Well, you wouldn't mind um, if you were gigging and you were Joe Bonamassa, you know. That's um, yeah, that's that's would just whack it up there. So that's the PR stuff, the opening jam that Pete and I did. That's what we were using. They, I would say the the six. You have to be a little careful when you're using pedals with it. It doesn't take uh, the gainier you go with the pedal, the fizzier it seems to make the preamp yeah the, uh, it's clearly a, a headroom that's issue. why i went so, for, for the 35 yeah so if i kind of pedals, if i pedal. sort of uh i got a dane here with the with the gain of course you have on a gain with the dane. minimum if i turn the gain up a bit so that we go halfway now uh There you you go. can hear. Yeah. It, if I'd... it starts, so I, and I would be. Uh, this this amp is definitely going to appeal to to guys that are prefer on the cleaner side yeah. and the lower Probably gain stuff. In. Yeah. Um, but it's just I use it in my office all the time. All the Facebook video you've seen of me for probably since maybe the end of November. Uh, on the Captain Anderson thing is all this sitting under my desk into my iPhone. Uh, it's great. It's really, really, it sounds great. I'm yeah. very, very pleased with that. Anyway, just before we swap to the Swip Swap amps, swip let's swap. just see how it says, uh, sounds with the Dane, uh, mm. with the gain on the 12. The Dane with the gain. Dane with the gain. So uh, here's the clean. So I did uh, swap the guitars over to the GNL Asset. Uh, Yeah. into the day in so, the end. So I, I would say certainly as a, as a pedal amplifier for people that want to play a little bit louder, Headroom. the 35 or probably the 18 might be a yeah. better bet for yeah. you. Absolutely. Um, anywho. Let's snap our fingers and there'll be some other amps appearing on. Uh, What's the this. count? On one or on three? One, two, three, bash. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, amps. And I've got another guitar. What? What? Who gave you that? Who gave me that? I took it off the wall. 
Where? Who? Well, I didn't take it off the wall because it it's just all messed appeared. up, Pete. A bit of paint flaking off of it. Somebody I take that back and ask for your money back. Somebody cracked the lack on this. Oh. What a stupid, stupid thing. Idiot. Anyway, two, three, one. <laughs> Distortion. I know. Well, are you Rob um, Chapman in disguise? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, um, I played right. it a bit out of tune. This did you? Well, look, part two of uh, of this rift amplification, wonderful, glorious jamage uh, features the plexi, which, as you can probably now see a bit more clearly than you could see before, mm. uh, is is you know uh, black with a gold face and very martially looking knobs and gold uh, beading and clearly doing a thing. But yes. it's 18 watts with yes. uh, EL84s in the power stage. Oh, so it's that. kind of, you know, it's, what's it like? It's a little bit more like the JTM45 kind of It's a little JTM45-y, maybe like the old, they did do a little 18 watt plexi at some point, didn't they? But um, anyway, with no pedals and just a splash of reverb a from of my board, because I mean. there's no built-in reverb. No. Can you see this? I should show you. Two channels, kind of like, or two two inputs, two channels. Mm. A little bit like the old one. The first one just has a tone control. The yeah. second one has, uh, and volume obviously, second one has treble, middle and bass. There is no master volume. Um, and it, at 18 watts, it's it's pretty loud. It's pretty loud, it is but pretty it does loud. do lovely clean sounds. You know? Very British sounding, not Fendery at all, you know, much more pokey in the mid range, not as much bottom end. Um, I'm a little bit frightened to, to sort of see what happens if we if we start to try and make this distort. <laughs> I tried oh, that Lord, the other day. Lord, Lord. Uh, Actually, you know what? Woo. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, 
<laughs> so it does that kind of it sounds thing. Great, man. It's you, the it's the good loud, right? It's the good it's the loud. Good, it's actually not that loud, is it? I mean, no, it's, it's, it's loud, 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 but it's, but it's not like. But this is what we're talking about the, loud, the difference in a loud, a good loud, um, and a not so good loud. Here is if what you know happens what I mean. if you can dime the two channels. Although I think I've been given the world's most awkward patch cable to try and do <laughs> this with. Uh, so this is now both channels. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just turn the volumes down so we can still. isn't it way more grunty <laughs> i like it yeah way more yeah marshally you know hey yeah to say to don't say the, sue the me word. it just is what it is for that opening jam i was using uh a plimsoll pedal so the bulk well not even the bulk all of my gain was coming so this this would have been my my basic sound and then we had we had this over the top which actually was dialed back. I had all the stage two gain off and like maybe the stage one gain at like 11 o'clock. So it wasn't like crazy. And then I would use a... And then for the solo bit, I kicked the Mjolnir, which comes in afterwards. <laughs> Oh! It's certainly got the headroom to take the pedals where the PR6 yeah. is not, so it, it doesn't have it. You punches know. you right in the fart yeah. box. Yeah. <laughs> It it's got a does. green beret speaker in the back as well. <laughs> Has it? That's what it's called. She wore a green beret. beret. And your your one the down Gooseberry there has beret. veterans, and this was called. Uh, they all got funny names, haven't they? Like these uh, speakers. I don't know. In the back, have they? Yeah. So this we'll is, have, the, we'll is another speaker, a, a guitar speaker workshop. Um, what is no, it? It's warehouse guitar warehouse speakers, guitar isn't speakers, it? Yeah. WGS, not yeah. guitar warehouse speakers. Yeah. Yeah. Warehouse guitar speakers. Yeah, yeah. WGS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, what's yeah, in yeah. this, right? Yeah, yeah. All of them. And this, except the purple one. Exactly the purple one. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, well, I put a different speaker in it. So, okay, so, and this is then the Hawker. I was going to first just have a look at this little cool little manual it's here. Beautiful. It's like a Morse code book. It isn't is it? a Morse code book. I like Secret the logo. Codes. It's really cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is cool. And it's all here, signed in uh, with the with the details and the serial number and the date. And uh, thank you, Emil. Chris Fantana. So, uh, this is the Hawker. So it's a it's got two eight watts and thirty watt modes. It's yeah. the KT sixty six in it here, is. right? So this is his own design, yeah. more like an old Selma Vox kind of type uh, amplifier. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not super familiar with the old Watkins and the old Selmas, although kind of like uh, periodically you'll hear a guitar player or you'll I'll meet a guitar player in the store and they'll talk about yeah I use this old Selma in the studio, man, and because um, they were speaking yeah. like that obviously. Um, <laughs> and they do great amps, man. Yeah, I've never you know. really tried any. So. It's, a, it's a it's a certain kind of tone. Uh, let's try everything at 12, master Ooh, 3, not the volume. gain at 3. So it's gain, treble, middle, bass, master, and present. Master. Uh, yes, master. Yes, master. That's what our alarm system says when you turn the alarm system off. You go, would you like to... Um, uh, hello, master, it says. Is that? Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. What, on your home uh, one? No, on the one here. Oh, the one here yeah, does? Yeah, yeah. We have an alarm system here, do we? Absolutely. I never knew. No. Um, no. Right. So, anyway, so here's uh, everything at 12, and there is no reverb in this. There is an effects loop in the back. With a bi swipe loop, loop, but a bypass switch and a yeah. control so you can turn on. I now. really like this white piping and it's the, great, isn't it? it looks nice. It looks like cake. It looks nice. Yeah. So uh, all clean. It's got that very mid rangey. Very mid rangey. Very mid rangey. Yeah. Could put a bit of reverb in for an H from an H9. And then I'm going to dial in, Ooh. so a tone, right? Very big. So it's, it's, Very a, big. it's massive, isn't it?
So it's very, it's it's very uh, punchy right in your face. Isn't yeah. It? It's very very. We, punchy. we should call this the the, um, the puncher. The Anthony Joshua. So I think that's that sounds great now. A nice clean tone. Yeah. Uh, I want to, you know, it's, it's, it's very punchy, isn't it? It's a, it's a player's amp, this one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's one it's of those where you amp. have to be able to, to know what to do with it. But the gain, once you bring the gain in here. Oh! No pedals, right? No Just pedals. No, not no. even your reverb's on. No, no nothing. nothing is on. Oh, and man. I, and I mean, that I've just is, put new strings on this guitar. That is a sound of, like, an old sound, isn't it? Of just it's, like, yeah, yes. It is a... And then take it to 8 watts. No. The light speed from Grim. Front was going like, oh yeah, that was like super rock and roll. I think it only does that when like a good guitar sound happens. Yeah, like that. I mean, I really like this, but it is, but it's a you it's have a player's to, amp. You have to tweak it and turn it up uh, loud and turn it up loud. Uh, that wasn't the eight watt mode, but <sighs> it's 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 nice to see something different. Right, oh, I like it, but it is different. Like it's it. not not like anything else I've plugged into. Um, but it's it's great. I, I, it's definitely. I can see where he's saying the sort of. It's it is like an old British vibe that's not Marshall-y, so it's not as it's not as presency and kind of aggressive sounding as a Marshall. Yeah, yeah. It's tighter than a Vox, though I think it's, it's very so, snappy. Um, but it's just yeah, it's, it's cool, man. Yeah, I like it. Anyway, uh, for those of you that haven't fallen asleep, although in fairness, who'd fall asleep during that? Uh, <laughs> we've got one more amp to show you uh, called the Vibro, and then we're all going home. Yeah, so let's okay. snap our fingers again. One, two, three. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Ooh. and then let the spectator would do. What do you do that? What do you do? Yeah, I just pull the strings. Just to upset. So I get mofo. Yeah, just to upset people. Oh. Um, well, so. Do you know what? I think that's my favourite one of them all. You think so? Well, I, yeah. I know what I mean. I think it sounded great. It does sound great. There's something about tenant speakers, which is, uh, there's two tenants in this one. Yes. Warehouse speakers. Classic again. vibro kind of style. It is. And it's funny, we talked about Greg Cock, didn't we? So, and that's his, his thing is two. Two tenants. Tenant. Two tenants. Two tens, great <laughs> cock. Yeah, I'm looking forward uh, to playing that lamp as well, by the way. But isn't that a different video? That is a different video. Different video. Uh, so, yeah. to be totally honest with you, it's very much laid out like uh, a two channel kind of fender amp would be. Yes. Except that uh, Monsieur Fantana uh, will <laughs> actually load up each sort of preamp as per your spec. So, we have a, a, a dual brown kind of preamp yeah. here. But if you wanted the normal one to be brown face and the bright to be black face or the tweed and something or whatever you want. Whatever you want. It's got the same treble thing where it's almost the brown face sort of circuit. That's only a two it's as well. It's all about the bass. No all treble. All about the bass. Oh, no treble. You know, we were saying those those pickups are kind of hot, aren't they? The the MFD pickups. Yeah. Of course, if you've got an input two on a Fender amplifier, it's 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 the beauty. It's like an attenuated, so that you'll get Correct. that more traditional uh, lower output single coil sound yeah. now. Like. Input gets enough love on Fender amplifiers. It doesn't. It doesn't get enough love in in, in every any time. So the second don't input. go there. Come on. Right. I so was being serious. Let's go into the bright input. Input yes. one, and then see what that does. Uh, it's a similar circuit, but uh, brighter. So. Uh... Oh, it's, this is loud. It's this so is loud. loud isn't it? It's definitely They're all brighter. loud. Don't They're have all to. Loud. Yeah, we don't have to. Here's yep. the tremolo section, which is also controllable by foot switch. It's doing like a stereo thing though, is it? No. But it's got two speakers. But it's it very great. Uh, touch sensitive tremolo. Just tell a quick story. Um, so we were going for a walk over Christmas where I live, and um, and then there's this old, really beautiful church, and um, I sat outside with the little one, and then the others walked in just to have a little peek and a little look, and then Chloe's dad was there, comes out and goes, "Hey, you have to come in and listen. There's this dude. He's he's playing guitar. It sounds like an organ, and there was a dude in there uh, looping in the church in this massive big church." Uh, with an old uh, Firebird and an, and an AC-15, both from 65 awesome. or something. We need to get him on the show. Really? Uh, and unfortunately, right now, I cannot remember his name. His name. That's a problem. But, if no, you I've were that it, guy... I've got his, no, I've got his card, oh, and well I'll done. see him in Froome, so it's, it's, it'll be all... We'll, I'll, I'll see him, definitely. And it just sounded amazing, what he was doing. I love... Uh, in amazing. recent times, there was a, uh, the, the Chaos and the Calm album by James Bay has got a very haunting track on it. I, I think you might have to have like the deluxe edition to get the... But there, he does a, a version of, I think it's called Scars, and it's literally just him and a guitar yeah. in a massive reverb. It's beautiful. And it sounds wicked. Yeah, it sounds like anyway. this. It sounds like this. Let me just turn this back on. So... Uh... <laughs> You get the point. 
You get the point. It's the church in Froome want to book you for a gig <laughs> next Thursday. <laughs> no, they just let you go in and then just play. They're like, any time you uh, can come in, you can set up and you can just do it. Anyway. Anywho, uh, this has been... In my head, this was like, we'll just quickly plug into these amps. It'll take us 15 minutes. It'll be great. It never does. And like four and a half hours later. It never uh, does. Hopefully you've had some fun. It's over an hour. Yeah. yeah. So We've there we fun. go. Rift amplifiers no. by Chris <laughs> Fantana. Huh? Fantana. 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 Fanta. You yeah. say Fantana. I say the Fantana. Best, best name. You ever. say banana. I say banana. I'll say yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> um, uh, hand built in the UK. One man. It's proper old school. Yeah. Uh, come down to Anderson's. Give him a try. Hey, you could come down to Anderson's. You could plug these in next to a Hampstead, next to a Victory, next to a uh, Morgan, next to uh, a Lady, next to a. I'm just thinking orange, of, of all the sexy, black, like oh, all the this, sexy yeah. high end kind yeah, of things, yeah. and just go Friedman. Yeah, well, yeah, and they there. do a couple of clean amps, don't they? Like Bucks and Betty Bucks and or Betty. something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pluck them in next to a fender and try them out, and you'll, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see what we talk about. You'll see something. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and like these videos, because we like that you like them. And if you don't I like don't them... I don't think they like this one, though, will they? No, it's... They <laughs> Watch a different one and no, then subscribe. Nobody watched all the way to the end on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye. Oh, dear.